So the idea of finishing up the season with a huge piece like the Verdi Requiem is, is multifold. One is we want as many people to celebrate with us as is possible. So we're going to pack the stage. We're even going to build an extension to the stage so that everybody can fit. We're even going to be having musicians placed up in the balconies of the Palace Theater. We'll, of course, have a full symphonic chorus joining us and then four operatically trained soloists, uh, some of them coming from uh, the Pittsburgh Opera Studio. So it's going to be an all hands on deck situation. But if you know the Verdi Requiem, you know that there are moments of beauty and prayer and repose, but then there are also moments of shaking your fist and anguish and anger. And then there are very poignant, beautiful, romantic, and, and it's almost like a Verdi opera in ecclesiastical clothes. It's like, it's, it's a work that was intended for a liturgical or a church setting, but it's so dramatic and so operatic that you most often hear the Verdi Requiem performed in a, a concert setting rather than than in a, a a church setting and that's just because the piece is so sprawling and so exciting and so passionate um, that it demands all of your attention <laughs>